Hi, I'm Brian LaRosa, and welcome to the third show of my DCS Mood series. Today I want to give you a quick tutorial on MTH's Proto Doppler and Protocast because I want to have a little bit of fun in this video. As you may or may not know, Proto Doppler is a DCS feature that simulates the Proto the Doppler effect in which uh, when the train approaches you would hear uh, a higher higher pitch from the horn but as the train passes by you the higher pitch uh, fades into a lower pitch so um, so the Doppler is, is going to simulate the the Doppler effect now the protocast it is another DCS feature in which, believe it or not, it actually plays uh, music on any MTH locomotive. And I'm guessing it's to simulate the the uh, a radio inside a locomotive. I don't know if locomotives have radios for broadcast or something, but otherwise, you, you can actually play any music you want on the on any MTH locomotive. Now the third DCS feature I want to point out is called Proto Dispatch, in which which simulates a dispatcher uh, giving assignments to the engineer. And the way it works is that there's a microphone at the very top of the remote, and then there's a button labeled mic, so that you press and hold uh, the button and then you speak the your voice through through this microphone now i'm not going to show you the the proto dispatch feature because the problem is that the the microphone doesn't really work uh, well on on this remote however there is uh, another op option to to activate proto uh, dispatch. Uh, I'll I'll get to that in in a minute or two. So let's get started. We're back at the TIU for this video because there are two things required to activate Protocast. The first thing you'll need is is an audio device. It can be a radio, a CD player, an MP3 player, or any other audio device like that. And the other thing you need is is a special cable that that it, that connects between the TIU and the audio device. This is an, an MTH mini to mini cable that is sold separately from the DCS system. And what's interesting about this cable is that it actually works the same as a a headphone wires and if you look um, in this plug it, it looks like in like a headphone wire uh, plug and then it it simply plugs in like that so so to connect between the the TIU and the audio source there's a port labeled protocast audio on the TIU so so you put one end of the of the cable in here and the other end of the cable onto a headphone jack uh, of any audio source. Uh, this particular uh, device does have the, the the headphone jack so and it, it just works just like that. Now for this video I'm using a a, a home CD player and if you look inside uh, the CD player I'm actually going to play one of my favorite Beatles CDs, so and so it makes it even more fun. I'm going to play the Beatles Yellow Submarine to be exact. In addition to the Protocast port of, of the TIU, there's another one labeled Proto Dispatch um, that is used for the optional microphone. Now like I said, the 
rem the microphone on my remote doesn't work really well. So, so using the microphone it is another way of activating Proto Dispatch. So, so if you're getting into DCS and if you activate Pro Dispatch, but if the microphone on your remote doesn't work, then you have the option to to put a plug in a microphone into into the Pro Dispatch port of the TIU. For this demonstration, I'm going to use my Rail King GE Demonstrator ES44 AC diesel, which is of course equipped with DCS. So. I got everything powered up. So the first thing I want to show you is the proto Doppler feature. So, so the first thing I need to do is to uh, start the engine up by pressing the startup button. So, so I'm gonna start it up. The next thing I need to do is to run the engine around my layout. And so so I'm gonna run run the engine around, so so let's give it a spin. To activate Proto Doppler, there's a button labeled Doppler, which is number zero. And if I press that, then initially the, the engine sounds will be silenced. But then, but then eventually you will hear the the sounds will get louder, and and you'll hear the higher pitch of the horn. And then it, it and then it will fade into a lower pitch. So. So I'm gonna speed the engine up a little bit on on the DCS remote. Okay, I've got a pretty reasonable speed on on this engine, so. So, so in just a moment, I will press the Doppler button to activate Proto Doppler. So, so let's see how this works. I'm gonna press the Doppler button now. You hear the Doppler effect? Now to turn the Proto Doppler off, I just press this button again and it will bring the engine sounds back to normal. So that's how the Proto Doppler works. Let's play it again.
The second thing I want to show you is how to activate the protocast feature. And like I said, you can play any music you want on any MTH locomotive. There's a button there's a button on the remote labeled protocast which is number 8. And so and then and when you press this button then the, all of the engine sounds will be silent and you'll only and the only thing you'll hear is the music from the audio source. Now now you can actually run the, the engine while you can actually keep the engine running while activating protocast but the instruction manual that comes with the DCS system said that that there are some cause things that can that can cause the the uh, audio to be distorted either because it yeah, you activate some of the locomotive's features, or um, or if a train passes by a dirty spot in the track. So it so the instructions say that that you should you should have your track cleaned in order for the audio source to work properly. Well, anyway, so I'm gonna start this engine back up again. And then, and then I will show you how to activate Protocast. So I'm going to start it up. You'll notice that I just uh, okay. I got the the engines started back up again. So. The next thing I'll need to do is to is to press the protocast button. And then like I said, it will uh, all the engine sounds will will turn off. And then I and then I'm going to play the music on the audio source. So, I'm going to press protocast now. Now now the, all the engine sounds are silent. Now you'll notice that uh, there's no music in because I've not played the I've not played the music yet on the radio. So so um so I'm so you'll hear the music coming up in just a moment. I'm just gonna play the play the audio source right now. You hear the music from the from the locomotive? As you can see, uh, you couldn't hear the the music from anywhere else. The only music you'll hear is is actually from the locomotive itself. To turn the protocast off, you press the press the same button again, and the engine sounds will turn back to normal. So, so I'm gonna turn it off now. So now the uh, the protocast feature is turned off, and and you'll hear the normal engine sounds again. So. Just playing some of the sounds to make sure they still work.
Okay, now I'm gonna shut the engine down. There's one more thing I want to briefly show you before I end this video. I'm on the sound menu of the DCS remote and there's a there's an option to to make the dop, Doppler effect a little bit more realistic. There's a feature called the Doppler loop feature. Now I'm not going to go through the Doppler loop feature because uh, the instruction manual will explain everything about uh, this feature. Now, when I activate the Doppler effect uh, with just the with just the this button, I try to find a, a certain spot on my layout before pressing the this button, so that I can make the the Doppler effect as realistic as possible. So. That concludes this tutorial. I hope that I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with it as I made this video. I'm Brian LaRosa. I'll see you later.